Hey Scrappers, Tom here, and we're in the middle of a auto junk scrap yard, otherwise known as an auto wrecker. And what you see behind me is just a row of overgrown uh, parts that have had lots of weeds around them. But this is what you get out of a scrap yard or an auto wrecker. So what we're going to be going over over the next few videos is all types of ways to take cars apart, what to maximize on them, what not to maximize on them. A lot of people think that, that when they're scrapping one, two, three, or four vehicles, that they should save them and start to part them out. But unless you have space like this in an operation where people know that you're a retail operation, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to save pieces of cars, but we are going to show you some of the main pieces to look for and we're going to talk about what vehicles might be worth more money than other vehicles. We're going to work on taking apart a hybrid vehicle to show you where the battery pack is and different things that you can look for out of regular gas engines versus hybrid engines and then moving into the future electric vehicle. So scrappers, here we are inside of an auto junkyard. Now all auto junkyards are different. There's larger companies such as LKQ, there's ones that sell OEM parts, but here we see a regular everyday scrap yard and what they've done is they've taken and converted some overseas containers to have things like headlights, struts, rotors, calipers, all different types of shocks, hoods. And when you see scrap yards or junk yards like this, many of them have things properly labeled. This way they know exactly what part, year, make and model it's coming from. Finding a yard that has a really big picking of cars, that gives you a really good chance to see what's available and what's out there. And when you're going to sell scrap cars, if you're just selling them for scrap, you're going to get whatever price they have at the door. But sometimes these auto wreckers find popular vehicles such as Toyota Corollas, Ford F-150s, Ford Rangers, that there are thousands if not millions of these in the local area. Those are cars that sometimes they're going to pay a premium for because you're going to be able to have higher grade parts that more people in the area need and use. So when you come to parts yards, you always want to look at these things. And when you sell cars, these are things that you want to talk about and think about. So scrappers, when we're looking at parts yards like this, you see all types of numbers and, and different categorizations on it. So this car in particular here, looks like it's a BMW X3. Looks like the scrap yards ID for it was RA2276. So sometimes if you call them up and say, hey, do you have a seat out of a BMW you know, X3? They can look it up by their part numbers and go from there. Sometimes you have vehicles that are missing wheels such as this one here. So one thing you really want to keep in mind is to really watch your hands and your feet around these vehicles. You don't know how secure this vehicle is and all it's going to take is you trying to pull a piece off that lets you get hurt because the vehicle falls on you. So we're going to show you a couple of examples of vehicles are very common. Here we see an F350. Now a lot of auto wreckers like cars that come in where they haven't had damage to the front. Behind it we have a Honda CRV. We have a Toyota Camry. These are very common cars. Over here we see an old Jeep. Now these are the cars that a lot of these auto wreckers love to see because they can part them out opposed to just scrapping them. Looks like we have an old Honda Civic and this has really been very decimated. You can see that the engine was left over, but the battery is gone. The wiring harness, some of them are missed. Uh, the alternator's gone. You have the radiator left over, but the bumper, a lot of the, the hood is obviously sold. And these are items that probably were sold because they were just old cars, didn't get in accidents. Not all cars that get in accidents go to auto wreckers. So here's an example of what happens inside of an auto yard. You know, many of the cars that come in, you obviously are not going to be able to move them because they just don't run. So with 10 to 12 foot long forklift blades, putting them on the back of this DL300 or whatever other machine that different scrap yards use, you're gonna see him clearly be able to pick this car up because this looks like a machine that's gonna be able to pick up about 15 to 20,000 pounds. So picking a car up really is not a problem. Things you always wanna watch out for at the scrap yard, you really wanna make sure you watch the operator and never trust that they see you. If they don't acknowledge you, then you're not going to be able to know that they see you and safety is always important, especially if you don't know how it works at scrap yards.
So once this is removed, it, it prevents any um, shock going by when we go to remove the battery. Correct. Got it. watching our video. For $2.99 a month, by becoming a member, you can get access to early videos, member-only videos, merchandise discounts from our store, and priority comments that we answer before answering any other scrappers. Click the link below to learn more. Until next time, scrap you later.